and I'm also very much obsessing over watches again. I I think by the end of 2023, I want to own an Omega Seamaster Diver 300 with the white dial black bezel. I think that's what my goal is gonna be. Do I think it will happen? We'll see, because I change my mind every five seconds, but that is what I want to do really bad. Oh, shit. See what this says? Omega. What does that mean? That means that Caden went through with the purchase. Today is gonna be a good day. So today, I am heading down to the Salt Lake area. I'm meeting up with a guy to purchase a new watch. I don't know like why, but I've really always been into watches, but when I would turn 18, I started getting like really way more into watches and like learning about the brands and like the models and why they're so expensive and like automatic mechanical quartz, like so many little details about watches. And a couple months ago, it just started picking up again and I'm buying my first luxury watch today. I am very excited. Oh shit. See what this says? Omega. What does that mean? That means that Caden went through with the purchase. Get it nice and good. You see what we got here, baby? This is the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 white dial. And this is my first luxury watch. And it is my gonna be my baby that I wear. And let me tell you, she's perfect. Again, just get nice and close on the dial of that. Look at the beautiful white. It's just so exquisite, so good. Just listen to that freaking closing. Look at the box, baby. It's literally so nice wood for a thing that goes tick, 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 tick. Peep the new marble. Right here. This is before. Are you peeping it, dude? Are you peeping the marble? Is the... Does it have it hacking? Sure does. <laughs> On the wrist. So we got the time set. It's on the wrist now. That is a beauty watch. Oh, baby. Today has been quite the day for me. I got not my dream watch, but my first luxury watch. I think it looks so, so sick. Just the clean white dial with the black bezel. The loom is crazy on this piece. I went ahead and I switched it out for the Uncle Seiko bracelet that came with it when I purchased it, which I honestly think makes it look so, just like it's a whole completely new watch. It looks just so much nicer. I'm in love with it. I'm gonna give my thoughts on the watch later down the road. This is just kind of like, man, first impressions on my first luxury watch, an Omega Seamaster Diver 300 white dial. If you can't tell, I am very excited about this watch. I just love it. So I have been wearing my new Omega Seamaster that I have right here. I've been wearing it now for like three or four days, three days. Today I actually went ahead and I wore my khaki field titanium and I have a package that I just got. I'm gonna open it up. It's very interesting. This is my first experience and my first time with a luxury watch. What's funny is on the wrist, wearing it day to day, this watch that was a th just under a thousand is more accurate on my wrist than this watch is on my wrist throughout the entirety of a day, which is very interesting. It's hard to compare these two because they do very different things and they are completely different. Like this is just a luxury, a luxurious watch. This is a watch that is made for doing things and going out into the world, adventuring, exploring. It's what it's made for. In a way, so is this, but they're just a little bit different. I went ahead and I got a new NATO strap that I'm gonna be putting on this, but it will also work with this so we can go ahead and try it out. I don't know how I stumbled upon this company, but I did stumble upon them. They're called Crown and Buckle. This NATO strap that I have on here is actually from Crown and Buckle. This is just their standard like low end NATO strap, but I think the size and the thickness is very fitting for this watch. This is their Supreme NATO, and so far it looks it looks very good quality for what I paid. It was like 40 bucks in total compared to my other NATO being 15. 20 bucks. 
this looks much better. Still like slightly cheap, but I mean, you get what you pay for. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on both of these watches. I went ahead and first I put it on the khaki titanium. Uh, it's not the most fitting for this watch, but it doesn't look bad, honestly. Like I would probably wear it. It's just a little bit more shiny. So I think it will match really good with the Omega. Whereas this one is just a little too shiny, I think, to go well with the, the khaki titanium. The NATO is on. It's like, it's a lot shinier than I thought that it was going to be. But honestly, the shine kind of makes it more fitting for this watch. I think it is a very interesting color to have on this watch with the white dial and the black bezel. I kind of want to get a gray, like a silver, not even a silver, like a gray NATO. I think gray would look really good, but it's all right. My initial thoughts on the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. I think at the price I got it, I got a good deal for it. If I wanted to, I could sell it for just a little bit more than I paid. So it's in a way, it's like I take my money that I have in the bank and I just put it into a physical object that when I want to or need to, I can sell to get that money back. It's kind of how I look at it. I also look at it as this was my only goal this year was to get this watch. So I'm gonna have to make some more goals. <laughs> but just something about the white dial, just when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. That mixed with its connection to James Bond and my love for also the No Time to Die James Bond watch. Not only that watch, but just that movie is one of my, my favorite movies that I've seen in the last couple of years. And so when I see this watch, it reminds me of that movie, the things that like I was thinking about during that movie. And it's just like as cheesy as it sounds, a reminder to like not just take life so seriously, like just have fun, be happy things that are sometimes hard to do. That's what I think of when I see this. And every day I wear it, I look at it, and that's what I think about. My first luxury watch. Wow.